Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, guys, how are we? Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of March. Let's learn with Mike. All right, check this out. Can you see my special hat? All right, it's a leather hat. And generally, we call this an Akubra, Akubra hat. And it's very famous in Australia. So they're pretty cool for the outback. Um, apparently, they've been around for about 150 years. So this is my Akubra hat, and it's very relaxed. Uh, I like it. It sort of fits me pretty well. It's black, so it attracts the sun. Anything that's black will attract the sun, so it's better a lighter color one. But I still like this one. All right, there's my Akubra hat. Remember, I had a, a floral one of these the other day. So this is just a, a different one, and that's called a lay. So I'm wearing a lay, and, and it's, again, I can use that as a part of dancing in different cultures they have lays and they're a bit of fun as well nice one alrighty at the school that I was talking uh, that I teach at it was interesting I asked the boys and girls now older kids you should know this but the younger ones um, they didn't know how many eggs are in a dozen so hopefully you guys know that in a dozen eggs there are 12 eggs so there's a couple out of this one so there's two out um, but 12 eggs in a dozen. And just so you know, you <laughs> uh, Mike's not going to do it just in case it does break. But they say that if you squeeze the top and the bottom of an egg really hard, an uncooked one, that it really, really is hard to break. Again, Mike, I don't know, I just feel that my I might be able to break it and I don't want to risk it. But if you squeeze really hard like that, not the belly part, because that will break for sure, but the top and the bottom, they're made in such a way that they're really uh, very solid at the top of the bottom. So something interesting. If you try it, make sure you try it over a sink just in case you do break it. Make sure you get mum and dad's permission. Now inside, the white part of an egg is called the white. Okay, And then the yellow part inside is called the yolk. So, um, And it's great for protein and building up your muscles. So eggs. 12 eggs in a dozen, 12 eggs in a dozen. Okay, we talked about teeth yesterday. Remember, a, these are the bristles, and this is great for uh, sort of massaging your cheek inside, and Mike didn't have those when he was a kid. Um, we change this, I think I said it, every three months, and we have four different types of teeth. As an, as an adult, I have 32 teeth. These are the incisors, the front ones for cutting. Then I have the canine, the pointy ones, and they're great for grabbing your food. Then the pre-molars, which grind the food. And then the molars at the back, which also definitely grind the food, okay? Yesterday, we talked about the states, capitals, and territories. I apologize, a mistake. I think I was whipping around really quickly, and I said that Australian capital territory, the capital was Darwin. When I went around to the Northern Territory, I said the capital is Darwin, but when I said the Australian Capital Territory, it's Canberra. My, my mistake, sorry guys. So the Australian Capitals and Territories, keep working on those guys. Hopefully everyone should learn those and know those quickly. Super quickly, there's the mnemonic. Remember a where it's words that make a sentence for us to remember certain things. Quickly before we go, because I, I and I'll, I'll share some of these things about globes perhaps tomorrow, but I love these. These are great. If you haven't got a, a pair of these, you can get ones, in, you can purchase ones in a toy shop, but you can buy ones that are really like hundreds and even thousands of dollars. And these are binoculars, and binoculars are great for seeing things a long, long way away. And you look in this side, you adjust and the focus by sort of turning this little wheel around. And you look inside and there you can see things that are a long way away, magnified, really, really close, nice, big and clear. So binoculars are great. They're sort of like a telescope a little bit, okay? And a telescope is just a single um, and they're great for um, seeing things that are in a distance much closer as well. There's our learning today. There's more learning coming all the time. Hopefully you enjoyed our learning. We'll see you soon. Okay, see you guys.